Now I realize I promised weekly content on this channel and if you've been paying attention, I haven't made a video in three weeks and that's because a lot of the planning that I did in December, well, none of those plans went according to plan. Fortunately, all of those car problems are now coming to an end. So if you don't wanna miss out on some very exciting content that I have planned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But that's enough about updates. Let me show you what I did. <laughs> So here it is and I apologize because it is quite windy and if I'm a little bit shaky, it's because I am literally walking on ice right now. We're just gonna have to do it like this because the wind is crazy and it's so cold I can't feel my fingers. So for those of you guys that follow the Car Problems Instagram, if you don't, I highly recommend it. It's linked down below. About two months ago, I posted a picture of two different graphics packages that I designed in Forza. One featuring a hood stripe like I have on the car right now and the other featuring kind of two center stripes, like a classic kind of stripe package for a car. A lot of you guys really like the center stripes. Very few of you voted for the hood stripe and a lot of you guys recommended that I get the AMG kind of edition one stripe package similar to what they're putting on the AMG GTR Pros now which I don't think looks bad but everybody has that I wanted something different and the hood stripe in particular even though the response wasn't great on the pictures is something that I've always loved I've seen it on the F12 TDF as well as just a regular Ferrari F12 and I always thought that it looks really cool partially because the car has such a long nose this is obviously not a Ferrari F12 but it does have a very long nose and I thought a hood stripe would be something that's one cool I've always wanted a car with a hood stripe and two would also be something that I've never ever seen anyone do on a car like this and honestly I think it looks great and I guess I should also mention that all of the stripes and details have been done in satin white which I thought accented really nice and matched well with the satin green paint so I knew that I definitely wanted to do the hood stripe but I thought it kind of looked a little bit weird on its own it needed something else on the front to tie it in so I decided that some form of white was necessary I just didn't know where to put it and ended up settling for I guess the bottom part of the bumper if you want to call that the front lip I guess you can but again it's one of those little kind of sections that I've never seen anyone make a different color and honestly I think it ended up looking really really cool it still maintains the big kind of wide open front end of the car but it does give it a little bit of an accent a little bit of a different look and it definitely ties the hood stripe in really nicely at the back of the car I was pretty set on just a center stripe in satin white basically from the reverse light down which I think looks really 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 good with what I've done on the front but then looking at the side view of the car just leaving it completely green with all the details added front and back I felt like it looked a little bit bare and it needed something along the door again that kind of addition one AMG stripe along the bottom that so many of these cars have would definitely look good but it didn't really work with everything else that I had done so I had an idea and I didn't want to do this because I already have a blank white circle on my Alfa Romeo 4C but I opted for a blank white circle I did do it a little differently though in that it's not not right in the middle of the door like it is on my Alpha. I kind of lifted it a little bit so the top part of the circle is kind of cut off by the glass but it does go around the door handle so instead of the door handle being chrome and green like it was originally now it's still chrome on the top but the bottom part has been whited out. I decided to leave the chrome because I think it still accents really nicely because the car has chrome badges and chrome grills all the way around. I had no intention of deleting all of that and honestly I just think it looks good. The car as it is right now has this kind of race car look about it. And I've always kind of viewed this as somewhat of a race car. And I don't know, I just have this need to, to make things look a little bit different than everyone else. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cool, but it also looks really unique. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Second Skin who did the PPF as well as the stripes on this car. You've probably heard of them or you have at least seen some of their work on Instagram if you're into looking at cars. They have done some of the craziest wraps that I've ever seen and honestly in the GTA area they're located in Mississauga Ontario they are the best of the best I wouldn't bring my stuff to anyone else I'm gonna leave their Instagram on screen it'll also be linked down below so definitely go and check them out and I would have loved to have recorded the process of them doing this car but while this car was in they also had another customer's car that was let's just say very expensive very exclusive and the customer wanted it kept a secret so needless to say I did not get to record anything in the shop this time 
time, but there definitely will be a next time. It's pretty cool that I just gave them a picture of a car that I made on Forza and they turned it into reality. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Big things coming soon. Part of the reason why I'm not driving is because I cannot let you hear this car yet. Trust me, it's going to be insane. Wait for that video. It's coming very soon. And also, because of the stripes, I almost feel like the car now needs new wheels. So if you have any ideas for wheels, send me a DM on Instagram, and I'll be happy to look at any of your suggestions. Other than that, let me know what you guys think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did I ruin it completely? And with that said, we'll see you in the next one.